The six satellite voting sites in Marion County have been extremely busy. Early voting began at those five sites on Friday, and the pace is unlike anything we've seen before. Working for you, RTV6's Derek Thomas talks to voters and analysts about what the surge might mean. The Marion County Clerk's Office says that 15,000 more people have voted this year than during the same time period in 2016. And that was a presidential election, but there they are in line chomping at the bit to cast their ballot and weigh in on the issues. The environment, uh, the general overall uh, criminality that seems to me to be pervasive in and around the White House and Congress, and I think it's just time to have a, a bit of a balance. But other voters say the urgency is there all the time. Every year is important. Every year is important for everybody to get out and vote, not just in specific years. So I'm happy. I hope it is here every year. But will this pre-election day fervor translate into increased overall voter turnout statewide? More people use these sites, but the people who tend to vote early are also people who tend to vote anytime. You know, they would vote uh, on election day or you know the day before, or might use you know mail-in ballots. So just people who vote a lot. Uh, and so the question whether or not it actually increases you know turnout overall uh, is kind of still up in the air. Someone who certainly wanted to vote early was 42-year-old Jennifer Barabisky. She has ALS and says she lives in 30-minute segments. She was brought to the polls by her mother and talked about her experience today. Absolutely important. Mary. Indiana is also one of the states that's the shortest voting hours on the actual day of election. And people work and they can't always get to the polls in time. Statewide, there was a 29% voter turnout in the last midterm election. Political scientists are not predicting what the final total will be, but the Marion County response seems to indicate the arrow is pointing up. Derek Thomas, RTV6.